This is Butterbee Cannon at the Lear and Times Media Today's News, Tuesday, August 15th, 2017. Prioritizing projects was the priority of the USD 480 School Board during a recent special meeting Monday evening. After approving an invoice from the City of Liberal for sewer connection to MacArthur Elementary School for $66,868.38, the Board moved on to talking about potential future projects as part of discussion regarding the District's Master Plan, facilities and how to use the remaining bond funds. If you really want to have your facilities connect to education of the students, you need to talk about what are the educational needs of the district, Superintendent Renee Hickert said. And there are some things we're going to be doing this year that will tie right into that. Our curriculum alignment goal at the secondary level with the individual study plans so the students going in, that's going to tell us a lot at the secondary level about what direction our students want to head as far as careers and what they need to do to reach that. The second part of that, Hickert said, will be the completion of a needs assessment as part of the new accreditation model, which has to be done this year. Hickard added the district will also be part of the Kansans Can redesign program, which will also see a lot of work this year. The board then spent some time looking at some charts and graphs related to a potential performance plan that will go in hand with the district's master plan. It is estimated the performance contract would help fund about $1.8 million to $2 million worth of energy savings, Hickard said. And the thing about those performance contracts is, their contractor guarantees those savings, and if they don't meet them, they're out that money. Hickert then talked about some factors that could be part of a performance contract, including heating and cooling systems, lighting, windows and doors, among others. After Hickert's presentation, the board then spent several minutes ranking district project priorities based on a list from Hickert of project ideas that had come up in the past. USD 480 Director of Business Jerry Clay notified the board that $8,641,000 were left for projects in the district that were prioritized. Discussion continued in this vein for a few more minutes before addressing some issues not included on Hickert's list, such as storm shelters, which had come about as a result of the severe tornado that hit Joplin, Missouri around the time discussion of the bond campaign was taking place. We'll explore the storm shelters, we'll float this around, we'll get you more information about the performance plan, Hickert said. This is a great way to earmark some stuff and get those discussions going, board member Matt Friedrich added. This is Buddy Buchanan at the Leader in Time. God bless, and thanks for watching.